Hi, thanks for joining me for another edition of my 12 Days of Christmas. This is the project that we're making today, and this has got reindeer food inside. And reindeer food is oatmeal with cookie sprinkles. Okay, and you can put your poem on the back. Um, I've never used packing paper before, but this is what we're going to use to make this project. I saw this idea on Facebook last month, and I just had to use it. Um, when you place an order with Stampin' Up, you actually get this packing paper. You unbundle it, um, you can flatten it out, and it actually has lines in there, and so you can fold it on these lines, and that's how we're going to make this, okay? So once you flatten it out, I'm going to show you the process. First, you're going to take your cutting mat, and then you're going to take your scallop square die, and then what I've done is I cut this paper in about five inch strips, okay? Making sure that your line's down here, and then I line it up right above those scallops, because if I put it over the scallops, it would cut it. And when I'm done, it comes out like that, and this is what it gives me. So it creates that pocket for me, okay? But I want to show you the rest of the layer so you make sure you get it right. So I put the paper there. Well, let me do this. So I put the paper here, lining it up just above the scallop. And then I put the cutting pad. And then I put a shim. And this is just the cardboard that comes in the Designer Series paper stacks. Um, you could use cardstock if you want. This is just a little bit thicker. And then I take this layer and run it through the Big Shot, okay? First thing I'm going to do is stamp the snowflakes on it. I'm going to use white craft ink, and I'm using the snowflake from the, um, I think it's called Brightest Hopes. It's in the mini catalog. I'll make sure I have it on the screen. Okay, I've also cut out a piece of crumb cake also using the scallop square die and I went ahead and just cut off the scallops at the bottom. I want to make this a little bit stronger so see I'm going to attach it to this cardstock. Okay so now what we're going to do is create this pocket here. So we're going to use sticky strip on the sides. Well, actually, we're going to put sticky strip on all three, okay? Okay, so on this process, don't peel off the top one, okay? We're just going to peel off the sides right now because we want to add their oatmeal. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and close that. And I've got my little pocket here. So now I've got some oatmeal in a bowl, and I'm just going to pour this in. That should be good. And then I'm going to seal it. So I'll go ahead and peel this sticky strip. What you want to do is flatten out that oatmeal a little bit so that your scallops line up. There we go. Now you can kind of shake it to even it out. We're going to sponge the edges with soft suede ink. We're going to take very vanilla cardstock with the reindeer from the winter post stamp set and we're going to use the soft suede ink. Okay, so we're going to punch the reindeer out with the one and three quarter circle punch and then sponge the edges. We're going to take the two and three eighths scallop punch and punch that out. And we're going to apply dimensionals to the back. Okay, so we're going to just poke a hole right here for our linen thread. Okay, so now we're going to add the ribbon. This is the soft suede striped grow grain.
Now we're going to take the linen thread and what we're going to do is just slide this under here. Let's see. Okay, and then what I'll do is put the ends together like that. I think that's good, just like that. Okay, and we have one more step. We're going to use the shimmer paint on this to give it a little bit of shine. So here's our color catcher. I'm going to place this in here. And I've already got the champagne shimmer paint mixed with alcohol, and I'm just going to spray it. Okay. So there you have it. If you have any questions, let me know. Thanks a lot.